really follow trends or do anything like that. We kind of get inspired really by the problem the client might be having or what they're trying to accomplish, and then we get inspired by trying to solve that problem. We definitely rely on storytelling a lot. It's nice to get to know our clients and get to know the kind of story that they want to tell. I think that influences our process a lot. I think a lot of the work that we do is based off of just an initial story and we kind of build it out from there. <laughs> um, but it, if I could spend, you know, a hundred hours on, you know, designing a postage stamp, then I would because it's just fun. It's just like you care so much about it. So and all that we try and keep it kind of lo-fi because that's to us beer super fun. And if it's too complicated, then it's not fun anymore. Working with with other companies, um, such as like Glenmore, it's so important. It's it's like selfishly important to us that they give as much of a damn as we do. We can produce the most beautiful files in the world, but if they can't execute them properly, then it doesn't really matter when it comes down to yeah. it. So. Yeah. The purpose of this event is to bring attention to uh, packaging and show that uh, something that has been uh, commoditized, which is basically uh, beer packaging, uh, should not be commoditized because the brewers uh, go through such great lengths to put a supreme product in their bottle. And at the end of the day, uh, at the retail level, we really want to make those uh, beverages shine uh, with our packaging. We're bringing uh, tangible effects to it touch, different sight effects to it uh, with the cold foil system and the overprinting of the cold foil. The real goal of it is to bring uh, more attention to uh, high-end custom packaging because we feel at the retail level, uh, when you have that, that extra sensory experience, uh, that it will help drive sales and you'll see an ROI.